Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday, uh, middle of October. I'm not sure of the date, I think it's maybe 21st. Anyway, you can look it up. Uh, I'm out here having some coffee. It's early in the morning and um, I recently took some video of the greenhouse stuff going on behind me. It wasn't the most enthusiastic, but it was early in the morning. Um, trying to get out and, and pollinate some of the new squash I'm trying to develop and uh, took the opportunity to take the camera and record some of what's going on. I know it's been a while since I put out a video and um, <clears throat> and I know I need to do that uh, not only for my sake but for those of you who are following. Um, well you get the benefit of seeing me without even my hair being combed and enjoying some coffee so take a look at the rest of the video and I hope you enjoy it and um, more to come I've got plans for winter planting and some other cool stuff with the fawn um, fawn platform so anyway stay tuned guys see ya I'm in the middle of cleaning up my greenhouse most of the platforms are gone. I've got some things I'm going to try to see how long they'll grow into the winter season in the greenhouse, like the tomatoes. And I got a pepper, I think, and um, uh, what else? An eggplant, and uh, a few cabbages. And uh, that's about it for now. I'm going to probably plant some coal crops here shortly and but I've got to clean out the greenhouse completely first and then and then uh, reset the platforms to the new fawn technique and then we'll get her going adding one and a half inch pipe to increase drainage flow in the greenhouse on both sides you can see down through here follows the edge of the greenhouse comes down and you can see that's the hole where the nutrient tank is going to be and I've dug out in the middle of digging out a trench so there's no obstacles in the way and it's going to connect over here and go the entire length of the greenhouse this way drain hole every 10 feet. It's plumbed and glued together. I'm go underneath. Get the walk or roll stuff over it. Started burying it already. It comes from both sides and it tees in right there. Here's my recirculating nutrient bin. And after putting it all back together, I'm still fine tuning it. But you have this line going to the pump. It goes out and feeds all of the uh, farm platforms. You got the float there that comes from the 250 gallon storage tank. Back there in silver, mylar covered barrels, and the elbow with the coffee filter is the return from all the fawn platforms. From earlier this year, I changed up the buckets a little bit. I put this on the side now. I had them across the middle, like you can see here. 
and I did that because these I used these to drip in here and I carried them that way but since I'm not uh, doing a drip anymore I no longer need them coming in from the top and having it on the side like that allows it to uh, allows to have the complete area uh, so I don't have to worry about the plant dodging either side of the middle strap and also if I choose to do this I can you know cover around or mulch to keep some of the evaporation down on the bottom is a fixed styrofoam teach one and I did that for uh, ease of removing and moving versus like here which I did before and each one is in a uh, in a hole that's affixed to the fawn platform and I think this will better suit my needs plus with some of the other things I'm doing like here you can take these and you can turn them this way for better spacing and uh, for different crops what have you or turn that way for closer or longer but both ways cover the gutters and help to prevent algae growth and evaporation so that's a gutter the color is from the nutrient it's not algae because I just did these yesterday but you can see here that it's got the return and it goes into a one and a half inch pipe the pipes a little bigger than last year because I've got more platforms on this side plus on the other side of the greenhouse the float has dual it it pumps in from the back I'll show you here It flowing there and uh, that comes from the echo 396 pump that I showed you in the nutrient reservoir pumps in back here flows the length of the platform and then goes into and drains back the 90 doesn't allow see like there's little be floating pieces here they won't go in and on the bottom it's off the bottom so it won't uh, allow bot things that sink to come and return back to the nutrient tank so that's the, an idea I got off our septic system and it's commonly used in septic systems and that keeps float floating material and material that sinks to the bottom from returning now suspended items you know fine particles and whatnot might return to the uh, nutrient reservoir but the pump also has a landscape fabric affixed around it so that should also help weed out plus the pump is not pumping to drippers drip emitters so there's less chance of clog because the the pump can uh, pump through a bigger orifice and push through micro particles whereas with the drippers eventually they would clog and that's why part of why I'm doing the fawn technique which stands for flowing aerated wicking nutrient well, it's early in the morning and that's my temperature and humidity level usually a lot higher in the morning and I wanted to take you on a short tour of the rest of the greenhouse on the opposite side of the nutrient tank is another area that I'm going to make better use of the greenhouse the back side the one closest to the good neighbor fence there I built and this is going to be a gutter for um, non-trellising things such as probably corn 
and maybe some squash or other uh, other items potatoes for sure and then I've got 30 feet here of vining type crops like peas beans cucumbers I'm probably gonna do some cantaloupes on them but what I did was last year I had a metal a metal well it's actually sitting over there you can see it metal trellis going up and, um, and until it reached about I'd say about this height which is about my height six feet and I thought that um, I would make a little better use of this area because I, I don't think I'm gonna grow anything really that heavy on on these on this trellis so I attached it affixed it to the braces here of every one going all the way down and there's 30 feet and three 10 foot sections of fawn platforms and they will also have the drain here and this is a feed tank from or a feed line from the pump but um, these aren't active yet and I will also pull um, and make another Y connection off the left side of the barrels and I'll take you and show you that you can see here right here that's just a cap well I bought another Y like the one on this end here with the hose connector like that and so when I hook that up I'll run a line down this end of the greenhouse and that'll also supply the uh, gravity fed backup nutrient um, I came back off a of vacation instead of five weeks like we'd originally planned to do with the RV it ended up being two weeks and I ended up just driving to California to see my son so when I came back some things were still alive including the eggplant tree from before that's a pepper and I'm gonna try to overwinter both of those but um, I put them in the fall and let them grow until they're not growing anymore uh, but they they pop back to life pretty good um, again some more tomatoes here there's a cantaloupe that's not doing too well but these have also been starving of nutrient for the entire time I was gone. I've got, uh, this is that one new tomato I'm trying to uh, save and uh, stabilize along with a couple Cherokee purples next to it. I am going to plant some winter crops here very shortly within the next week for sure so that's a quick outlook of what's going on with my plants my existing plants in in the uh, greenhouse you got to see some uh, not just the plants but you get to see the temperature right now in central Arkansas in my greenhouse um, some of the work I'm doing and changing over to the fawn platforms I got three done there this one will be converted. A lot of these will be moved over there. And then these remaining, what is it, four? Yeah, four more platforms here will be converted. And then these will be converted. And I will probably grow some peas for sure along the trellis. It'll be the first thing to try the new trellis. And I just want to say real quick, too, that the trellis still has the verticals to go up. So those are just the horizontals that I'm reusing from out in the garden plot. Anyway, y'all, that's it. It's been a long time since I made a video. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing.